Uh, we are in a, an era of we can gather more data than I think we even know what to do with. We're consumers, we're producers of data. And so a lot of people are now suddenly aware, maybe because of chat GPT or any of these artificial intelligence pieces that are all surrounding our lives. We have developed knowledge, skills, and technologies that can help us explore that data, analyze that data, look for patterns and trends, and look for ways to make better decisions, and particularly in business. What the role of business analytics can do is help businesses tackle the problems that they're facing worldwide. What are the efficiencies or inefficiencies in that group? Uh, what are the revenue impacts of decisions that you make? Um, how can you make adjustments to improve performance and things like that? So data can help you do all of those things. And not only simply improve business performance, but improve business culture. And I think that's where it really adds something to our society. And I think what's been special about the business analytics degree is the fact that we built this degree from the bottom up with uh, working with our partners at University of Maryland and universities at Shady Grove so that it would immediately have all the elements for a seamless transition and articulation. We've designed a pathway, what's called a two plus two plus one degree, an Associate's Arts in Business Analytics, transferable to University of Maryland, uh, College Park, Shady Grove, and then College Park, and then continue on for one additional year and get a master's degree in business analytics and that master's degree would prepare them for what is an emerging role, which is chief analytics officer. Montgomery County is rated sixth in the nation for the need for uh, business analytics professionals. They anticipate the growth to be 25% over the next five years. We are in a highly technical area. All businesses need analytics we are in a good position to help fill that need in Montgomery County. Jobs like uh, operations research, right? So they might be working within a business and analyzing one of the major business functions like management, production operations, accounting, finance, marketing, human resources. They could also be data analysts. So they're looking to start to take what data scientists give us and start to see trends relative to the business. MC has a strong emphasis on experiential learning. We believe that students learn by doing. We try to make the classes welcoming. How do we do that? We make that so that they find data sets that are relevant to them. They work with those data sets. It's contextual. It kind of gives them real life experience, understanding something that they're interested in. So early on, they are introduced to real-world data, uh, real-world cases, and by the capstone experience, they are actually playing the role of a business analytics professional so that they will have gathered their data sets, produced their case, and they will even have opportunities to uh, engage with industry professionals. The skills that you need to be able to communicate about data are almost as important as being able to do the work of analyzing the data. All the analysis in the world isn't going to automatically help somebody understand it when you need to explain it to them. And I think that's the key when it comes to most applications of data science and even particular in the, in the business world. So employers are certainly looking for individuals that have the knowledge, skills, and technologies. Gather the data, analyze the data, detect patterns in the data, but interpreting what story that they're telling, and then coming up with what can we do with this in the future. Other skills related to that, right? People who like to take on challenges, who like to solve problems, who like to work with data, and but most of all, who can visualize and tell a story. 